Day 157 of the 100 pound, 365 day body transformation is here. I had massive weight loss yesterday. Can I keep it going? Let's go. Welcome everybody to day 157. I'm so thankful you're here. And I gotta be honest, I am like beyond thankful that I'm here. If you're anything like me, the diet always starts tomorrow. Well, it's tomorrow somewhere. And this is the channel where we're bringing you along on a daily to show you exactly what we're doing to lose 100 pounds in 365 days. We came back out here today to the sort of just fire trail on the side of the road because last time I was here, I thought I saw an otter family down here and I wanted to come back and walk so I could see if I see him or not. But it's just so beautiful, you guys. It's so peaceful out here. I am so thankful to be able to do this. And if I see the otters, you will see the otters because I will make sure I get them. Please, 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 please hit like and subscribe and notifications. I would totally appreciate it. Time for wait for the day. And I said, oh, honey, do you think I lost weight today? She said, oh, you know you lost weight today, honey. I looked down, it was 0.8 pounds I lost. I was so stoked. I was like, yes, 0.8 pounds. Like after yesterday's big weight loss, that was just like crazy amazing. So that brings me down to 210.7. 210.7 pounds. Can you, I mean, I know you, I'm like looking around, who is this? It's like actually me. I'm like so psyched. I've lost 77.8 pounds at this point. Man, you guys, if we, if we went back to the beginning of this adventure and you told me that 156 days into this thing, 157 days into this thing, I was going to be in the 210 range, I'd be like, no way. It's like crazy, but here we are. So I'm so psyched. We have only 22.2 pounds left to lose and we are at our goal weight. So I am so psyched, I'm so excited. Our current 30 day challenge is going great. We are on day seven. Our current goal is 3.59 pounds. And so far we have lost 3.5 pounds of the 3.59 pounds. So we're almost there, we're like an inch away. So we're getting so close to getting this done. We've got 0 0.09 pounds left to lose to hit our goal. And then you know where we'll go from there. Up, 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 we'll get bigger goals. So I'm so excited, I can't wait. I really wanna hit double digits this 30 day challenge and we are doing great. Please, 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 please hit like and subscribe and notifications, I would totally appreciate it. Did I outlast the fast? Oh yeah, I outlasted the fast. I finished eating at about 12.35 yesterday. It was so easy and I didn't have an issue with it. I can't wait to talk more about my fasting today with you in more depth and we'll be doing that in just a second, but I totally got it done yesterday. Zero problema. Training time. So the 5K training is going great. I'm so excited about where we're at. I am losing this weight and it, that is probably the biggest thing I could do to train for anything I think physical right now is get this weight off of me. So I'm doing that, we're getting it done. And I'm just pumped about it, you guys. I think that we're gonna go out and do our training day tomorrow. I will get my walk in and I think I'm doing two and a quarter, two and a half, something like that tomorrow. And I'm totally looking forward to it and I'm excited about it, but I feel like a million bucks. My hip doesn't hurt anymore, none of it. So check it out, out tomorrow and you'll see how my training goes. It's time to go through my fasting and my diet this week. On day 150, I lost 0.1 pounds that day. I had ribeye at 4.7 ounces of uncooked, 971 calories, 23 net grams of carbs, 91 grams of fat, 1.1 hours of eating time, which gave me a fasting period of 23 hours. So that was really good. The next day on day 151, I had lost 0.6 that day. I did keto salmon, four cooked ounces, 997 calories, 25 net grams of carb, 70 grams of fat. I ate for six hours. That was the day that I started with the macadamia nuts at noon and finished my dinner at like in the evening. So I only had an 18 hour fast that day. Ooh, 18 hours. Like, can you imagine me saying, I only fasted for 18 hours a day today. That is like totally nuts. I mean, it's like crazy, seriously. <laughs> the next day I gained 1.6 pounds, but I think it was just because I ate so late. Honestly, I do. I gained 1.6 and that day was like hard to see that, but I was like, dude, relax, take it easy. This is all gonna work out tomorrow. You're going to have it off, it'll all be good. And so that's what happened that day. I had a ribeye that day, 3.7 ounces, pre-cooked, 980 calories, 24 grams of net carbs, 90 grams of fat, I ate for 1.1 hours that day and I fasted for 22.9 hours. So that was awesome. So the next morning I lost 1.8 pounds. I was like, oh yeah, I knew it. I had pork that day, 4.8 ounces, 985 calories, 24 net grams of carbs, 70 grams of fat. I ate for 1.2 hours that day, which gave me a fast of 22.8 hours. I just seriously cannot believe that I could not eat for 22.8 hours in a day. I mean, it like totally blows me away. I'm telling you, it's crazy. The next morning I woke up, I lost 0.9 pounds. I had the same pork, all of the 
Stuff was the same, 985, 24, 70 grams of fat. I ate for 1.3 hours that day, and that gave me a fast of 22.7 hours. The next day I got up, which was day 155, I gained a half a pound. I'm like, whoa, 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 what? That's crazy. I gained a half a pound. I had a ribeye that day of 5.4 ounces. I had 1,031, because now I'm thinking, what the heck, why did I gain weight today? What's going on here? So I thought, oh, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try an experiment. I'm gonna up my calories today. Now, I didn't go crazy, but I upped them to 1,031. So I was over 1,000 calories that next day. And I had that ribeye for 5.4 ounces. It was, like I said, 1,031 calories, 23 grams of net carbs, 99 grams of fat. Woo, I love that fat. 1.2 hour eating period. I was 22.8 hour fast. I mean, woo, that's good. The next day I dropped, I don't even know how this happened. I honestly don't know. This is like, blows me away how this works and why it's so crazy to get discouraged any one way and don't do it, don't let yourself do it. I have worked so hard on that and I'm still working on it, just so you yeah, FYI. But on day 150, 156, I went down 1.5 pounds and I had keto salmon that day, 889 calories again, 25 net grams of carb, 55 grams of fat, 1.2 hour eating window. I fasted for 22.9 hours and that was just a kick butt week. Please, 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 please hit like and subscribe and notifications. I would totally appreciate it. You guys, I am just so thankful that I'm able to do this honestly. If you are thinking about going on this adventure or you're on it and you're struggling at all, just stick in there. It's totally worth it. And just try to remember like what I've been trying to do and really my tip of the day today is Remember the struggles you had when you weren't struggling with this. Because before I had massive struggles, I felt sick all the time, I felt terrible, I felt down, and I was bummed out. And I, for some reason, I find myself forgetting about all that when I'm really struggling with staying on my fast or I'm hungry at a certain point, that always goes away, but I'm hungry at a certain point or I can smell something and I think to myself, oh, I'd like to eat it. But then I remind myself, it smells better than it tastes and you'll get more satisfaction smelling than tasting. But I, I have those struggles, right? So those are challenges. But I somehow forget all about all the challenges I had before that were a total nightmare. And so just please, please, please remember when you're going through this stuff that you had struggles before and you're gonna have them now on this. The only difference is on this, you're gonna be skinny and feeling great like a million bucks. And on the other one, you probably won't be. So, and you'll be a lot healthier on this. So anyways, or whatever it is that you're doing currently to, to do what you need to do on your adventure. But anyways, I don't know, but that has been really helpful to me just to make sure that I'm keeping the struggles I used to have in my forefront of my mind because I'm so quick to forget about them. And it's so easy just to feel the struggle I got now and be discouraged by it. Ugh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna think about the ones I used to have and remember that these ones are coming with really big benefits of feeling great, you know, looking so much better, being able to do so much more. Man, these struggles are paying off. The other ones were killing me. So I just appreciate you being here today. Check out these pictures before and after. The first one is day one and I don't look so good. And the next one is this morning and I think I'm looking much better. I'm nowhere close to what I need to be or looking great or anything like that, but man, do I look better. But more importantly, I feel way better. If you haven't yet, please leave us some comments down below. I am telling you, I get so much out of that. It's so motivating to me. It's so helpful to me and I just appreciate it. So if you could leave us some comments down below, I'd appreciate it. And please like and subscribe, hit notifications. It was great to see you today. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great day and don't forget, check out this video down here. Check it out, check it out. I think it's great.